coming to you from deep inside the bowels of a great big empty. Get ready for another episode of The Home Defense Show with Skip Coriel. Welcome to this week's episode of The Home Defense Show with my dad, Skip Coriel. Go ahead, take it away, Dad. Okay, folks. Thank you very much, uh, Phoenix Quinn Coriel, for that wonderful introduction. Um, today on the Home Defense Show, we are going to talk about grip, proper grip. This is something that I see over and over. Every time I go out on the range teaching a concealed carry class, people always have the wrong grip. Grip is important for a couple of different reasons. One, the gun needs a solid, stable platform to push against while it's going through the reloading sequence. And two, you need to manage your recoil. Okay, managing the recoil, it allows you to get faster, more accurate, successive shots. Okay, it's not just the first shot that's important, but the second, third, fourth, fifth shots are just as important. And you need to get them off as fast as you can. You want a high rate of fire, a fast rate of fire, but you want stability. So with, with proper grip, if you've got, if the gun never moves, when you shoot, you've got a really good grip, okay? And probably strong upper body, strong wrists, strong arms, uh, all of that stuff. There's a lot that goes into it. Now, on proper grip, we'll start with the basics. Take your thumb, your forefinger, the webbing in between, and you run it up the back strap until it hits the heel right there. So you run that webbing right up there. When it hits, you're gonna make it dimple. You're gonna push up against there. You want as much surface area of your hand on the gun as possible. That helps make the gun uh, more stable. So you push up till it dimples. You wrap your three fingers around the front strap. And then this thumb, this is where people usually go wrong. They put their thumb down like this, and then they place their hand over that. So what they're doing is that there's nothing touching the gun right there because this thumb is in the way. Get that thumb up out of the way, like you're hitchhiking. And then this leaves an open space on the gun for this hand right there. There, you get this thumb is equal with the base of that thumb. It's nice and even there, okay? So, and you squeeze really hard, kind of like a C clamp, okay? If you were to take this gun and lock it in a vise, a steel vise, onto a, uh, a table, and then press the trigger, fire it over and over again, it wouldn't malfunction, and it would, in theory, always go in the same spot. You are the steel vise, okay? So you've got to be strong and stable. So this is a C-clamp right here. It is controlling from front to back, this axis. I'm squeezing really hard, like the G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip, if you're old enough to remember that. Leaves this space open, I place my other hand there, and I this, this C-clamp controls side to side, front to back, side to side, okay? Squeeze tight, okay? If blood starts shooting out your fingernails, you're squeezing too tight. Back off a little bit, okay? If the gun's shaking, you're squeezing too tight. But most people don't squeeze too tight, they squeeze too lightly, okay? So I'm squeezing, squeezing hard, and then when you drive out, you've got to lock the wrist and lock the elbows, just like that. And then you roll your shoulders forward, okay? Lock the wrist, lock the elbows, squeeze tight with both hands, roll the shoulders forward, and that locks everything into place. Now, some of the things people do wrong, beginners will take this thumb and they'll put it back here. What does that do? That causes slide bite. Sometimes you need stitches to repair that. The metal slide comes back, it'll cut you here and here, and there's a lot of blood, okay? So don't do that. Don't do this. I call this the Kiefer Sutherland 24 grip. If you ever watched that, that movie, uh, it's kind of like a CIA detective type movie, right? He always places his hand right like this. That's because he doesn't know what he's doing. 
this all this does is it, it just gives you something to rest on okay but what you need is something to help you control the recoil and that's why we have a c clamp here and a c clamp here you know this hand keeps the gun from going to the inside this hand keeps it from going back at you okay do not absorb uh let let, let the gun absorb the uh the, the recoil okay if you do that then it's going to malfunction so squeeze squeeze tight just like this roll it out and then as little movement on the gun as possible in theory if you can give this gun such a st solid stable platform that it never moves there's no recoil then you can press that trigger as fast as you want without having to realign the sights because the sights never moved and that's the goal but it's hard to do okay all right well that's uh just my little thing on recoil um if you do this it's really going to help you get off a lot of accurate fast rate of fire all right uh coming up we're going to do a little uh oh a little political commentary i think uh simply because uh i want to and it's really driving me crazy so remember uh, our sponsors um united states concealed carry association delta defense uh and then also center shot indoor gun range we're going to be back in a, in a couple of minutes here and you will see uh what i'm thinking about politically hey folks i want to tell you about my book civilian combat the concealed carry book more and more people across the country are seeing the dangers in society and are deciding to carry concealed to protect themselves and their families. My new book lays it out step by step. It'll teach you how to protect and defend the ones you love. Get the benefit of 19 years of teaching experience and a lifetime of training for this important role in society and in your family. You can get Civilian Combat real easy. Just go to Amazon.com, search on Skip Coriel Civilian Combat, and it'll pop right up there. Don't put it off any longer. Get Civilian Combat, the Concealed Carry Book, by yours truly, Skip Coriel. Welcome to my dad's home defense radio show. You're gonna love it. Okay, folks, welcome back to the Home Defense Show. This is your host, Skip Coriel. <clears throat> Man. I want to uh, encourage you guys, not just with your pistol grip, but... Politically, I know all of you don't uh, want to uh, talk about politics. You're just interested in guns and shooting and, you know, that's fine. I respect that. That's why I'm doing the, the political part of it after the uh, training part. That way, if you don't want to listen to me, you can just turn it off. So, you know, don't get mad and don't, you know, unsubscribe and all of that stuff. Just listen to, you know, the training part. And then turn it off and you'll never hear me flap my gums about what I think okay uh, here I'm in my uh, mobile defense command post here you know the Dodge Ram um, with my mocha frappuccino all right a lot of you are getting discouraged out there some people are even moving out of the state the great state of Michigan, right? That used to be a lot more great than it is right now. Just my opinion. I want to encourage you. I think it's going to get better. I, I really, really do. You look all over the country and what's happening. Chickens are coming home to roost. Now, is it going to get worse before it gets better? Yeah, I think, I think we're in, it hasn't gotten as bad as it's going to get it's going to get worse i mean you look at all this uh, gun control going on uh at the federal level they're trying to pass gun control they might succeed they might not we'll wait and see but gavin newsom right over there in uh the people's republic of california he's got his handfuls right now have you ever noticed that he is like uh they have enough uh, signatures to recall that bad boy and I hope they do Cuomo 
over uh, the governor of New York, right? That guy thought he was 10 feet tall and bulletproof. Well, apparently he's not <laughs> because a bunch of women are taking him down. You know, they're get, he's getting beat up by a bunch of girls, and I think that's so cool. So I think he's got his hands full. But now, here in Michigan, what's happening with, uh, with the Gretch? Gretchen Whitmer. She, she's got her, hand full, her, her hands full now, too. She's uh, being investigated by Representative Steve Johnson, right? And we'll see where that goes. But, you know, it's... It's quite interesting. The uh, head of the uh, Department of, uh, you know, Public Health, right? All of a sudden, he just up and left. And he resigned. And he got paid $155,000 to, re to resign. I wonder why he did that. <laughs> and he had to sign a paper saying he wouldn't talk to anybody about why. So I hope they get to the bottom of that. I wanted just to remind you that everything with a beginning has an ending. Gretchen Whitmer has a beginning, therefore she has an ending. Newsom in California, he's got a beginning, so he's got an ending. Cuomo in New York has a beginning, he has an ending. The great state of Texas just opened up. No more masks there. Um, Florida never closed down and they're doing just as well as California better financially okay and things are starting to open up here in Michigan as well the thing is you know even the Soviet Union ended but it took decades the more you and I fight to regain control of our government the faster their demise will come. That's the way that it, that's the way it works. All of life is like that. So I want to encourage you to keep fighting. Keep sending out those letters, sending those emails, making those phone calls. And you think, oh, it doesn't do any good. They ignore me. Well, you know, a lot of times they do ignore you. But the momentum is building. I need to encourage you. You've got to fight now more than ever. So keep things going, okay? And, uh, and, and watch the news because it's, it's coming around. It's coming around for us. So uh, that's all I have for you today. Next week, we'll talk about something else. I don't know yet. Um, maybe we'll talk about uh, stance or, or something like that, something practical. And then I'll give you my two cents about politics. All right, this is Skip Coriolan, Home Defense Show. Uh, check out Center Shot Indoor Gun Range, centershotgunrange.com, where it's always a perfect 70 degrees. Did you notice it's spring outside almost? There's snow out there, but not as much as there was. And then also check out uh, United States Concealed Carry Association, uscca.com, and uh, see if you want to join their uh, membership as well. All right, this is Skip Coraline Home Defense Show. You stay tough. You stay vibrant. Spring is coming. We'll see you next week. Thank you for joining us this week on The Home Defense Show. Now, get out there and protect the ones you love. We'll see you next week with more of the best in home defense. Bye-bye, boys! Have fun storming the castle!